Hey guys, in this video we are dissecting the guitar fretboard using color patterns to reveal the interval patterns that are at play. Not just blindly hunting and pecking to try to find these notes through endless repetition and rote and muscle memory, but cutting to the chase to quickly find these note patterns up and down the fretboard. And we're gonna start with possibly the most distinct interval pattern in any given key, which is between interval one, or the tonic, and its tritone, or interval sharp four slash flat five. Now, if you're new to this, what I just said is sounds like nonsense, sounds like total gibberish. So I have a video here that explains these labels and why we use these terms. And once you understand these basic intervals, one, sharp four, and slash flat five, now we're gonna use the geometry of color and music to really understand where to find these notes and quickly navigate the fretboard understanding these intervals. But before we just jump into playing this interval pattern on the guitar fretboard, let's get a little more music theory under our belts, slow down for a moment, and really understand what we're looking at here in both color and music. And the first step is to look at the chromatic scale, the basic 12 notes of music in a circular pattern like this, and see that in the key of C, for example, the tonic one and its tritone or sharp four slash flat five are polar opposites meaning that they're complementary colors and as far apart from each other as they possibly could be in the chromatic scale. So C, the red square here, is directly opposite from its tritone, sharp four slash flat five, or note F sharp slash G flat. These two labels, sharp four and flat five, are just enharmonic or synonymous labels to describe the same interval that's directly opposite from interval one or the, the tonic. And it's called the tritone because it's three, tri, whole tones from interval one. That is the tritone is three whole steps away from the tonic. In the key of C, where C, the red square is interval one or the tonic, the tritone or interval sharp four slash flat five is the green square, F sharp slash G flat. Now, because these two intervals are polar opposites, they are very dissonant when you play them together. they clash harmonically, they're not very compatible. But they have a special relationship or connection between them because of the role they play in the rotation from the circle of fifths to the chromatic scale, which I explain in this video. And because of the special connection, because they're polar opposites, the tritone is actually the yin to the tonic's yang. By that, what I mean is that in the key of C, for example, C is one, but in the key of G flat, when you flip it 180 degrees, C then becomes sharp four slash flat five. C is the tritone to the tonic G flat. These two intervals, one in sharp four slash flat five, or the tonic and the tritone, are like mirror images of each other. They're polar opposites, like a bizarro world version of each other. So in the key of G flat, C is three whole steps, or a tritone, away from the tonic G flat. And what's awesome is the same relationship also applies to all notes in music. So every note in the chromatic scale is part of its own tritone pair, resulting in a total of six pairs, where each pair follows the same symmetrical geometry. But going back just to the key of C here to keep things simple, where one, or C, the red square, is directly opposite from its tritone, sharp four slash flat five, F sharp, or G flat, the green square, all these terms make it kind of hard to say, but really it's just the red square and the green square, that they're opposite from each other, or polar opposites. When you look at those on the guitar, for example, you can see how this pair of notes forms slanting stacks up the fretboard. When we fade out all the other notes along the fretboard, you can see this red square and the green square rising up the frets. And when we condense the guitar fretboard illustration a bit so that there's even spacing between the frets and the fretboard looks a little more like a chessboard, it's, it's even easier to see this pattern. It's cool, right? So let's play these intervals as you look at the note pattern on the fretboard so you get a feel for how they're laid out on the guitar. Starting in the key of C, we begin on the second string, first fret, go to the first string, second fret. So it's C to F sharp, G flat, or one sharp four slash flat five, tonic, tritone, and then we begin down here on the sixth string, second fret. So tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, and then repeat down here on the sixth string again. Tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone. So let's play that again. Tonic, tritone, 
tritone tonic tritone tonic tritone tonic tonic tritone tonic tritone tonic tritone following the colors it's easy to find these intervals Granted, these intervals don't sound especially good together. The one in sharp four slash flat five are polar opposites after all. C and F sharp slash G flat or red and green in this example are complementary colors. The tritone is not in the key of the tonic, so it doesn't sound especially good with the tonic. But the reason we're playing these interval patterns is because it helps you get your bearings and understand where the intervals are laid out on the fretboard. And as you'll see in the following videos, once you understand this set of, of intervals and how they're laid out, all the other intervals are laid out symmetrically around it in organized and geometric ways. So that's why we're going through these patterns. And once you understand the key of C, which it's really easy to find those notes rising up the fretboard, let's move on to another key to see how the tritones, say in the key of G, are perfectly symmetrical as well. So in the key of G, G, the tonic, is a red-orange circle, and its tritone, or sharp four slash flat five interval, is C sharp D flat, the green-blue circle. So we're gonna start on the Third string, open, G. Second string, second fret, tritone. And then the first string, third fret, the tonic. So we've got tonic, tritone, tonic. Tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone. Tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone. Let's play that one more time. Now let's shift down to the key of D, where we have D, which is the orange square, and it's tritone, which is the blue square, it's complementary color, and that's G sharp slash A flat. So we're gonna start on the open D string, the open fourth string, up to the first fret of the third string, then the third fret of the second string, and then the fourth fret of the first string. So. Tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone. Let's play that again. Key of D. Follows the same interval pattern that rises up the frets like that. And then, for good measure, we're going to play the key of A. So A is the orange yellow circle, the open string, the fifth string, A, and then its tritone is the blue purple circle, D sharp slash E flat. So we're gonna start on the open fifth string, first fret of the fourth string, second fret of the third string, fourth of the second string, and then the fifth fret of the first string. So tonic, tritone, tonic, tri tritone, tonic, Tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic, tritone, tritone, tonic, tritone, tonic. And we could just keep going, right? Because in every key, the notes and intervals follow the exact same geometric patterns up the fretboard. The tonic and the tritone are complementary colors, and it's super easy to see because there are really only six pairs of tritones in music. So if you wanna play these patterns in every key, definitely check out the fretboard stickers that you can put on your own guitar. The link is below. And in the next video, we're gonna look at another pair of intervals that sound way more consonant, way nicer on the ears, which are intervals four and five. So check that out, and I'll see you there.